bitch, I do it for my I suicide by my city, that means when I blow up I'm taking all of you with me My first name ain't Byron, but I'm the only one left Which means I'ma do it till I die in my death wish Is to kill the mic in my ears, make me scarier This man verse wild, do not grill me Cause I will release the bear on ya Shoot for me, you better get used to me I got an icebox where my heart used to be And you can fill it with cores and they'll get cold as the Rocky So when I sip it, it's consistent to replace my old heartbeat Flip and shit and I still smoke, motherfucker. so what? It's like I came up on a wheelchair, I'm just trying to roll up I don't know about makeup, but bro, you better cover, girl Cause if I get the chance, I'm gonna take her to another world I might endanger her, but there is no sustaining her So when she gets in the back of my Jeep, I'm gonna wrangle her Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Street that guy who never gets beat and today we're gonna bring you guys is a 115 to 3 gameplay on the map meltdown using the mp7 with the suppressor now guys one thing that's actually interesting about his gameplay is i'm not using a regular setup with the k9 unit the dogs the swarm and all of that guys what i'm actually using is the Orbital VSAT, the Lodestar, and the Warthog. And you don't see many 100 pluses with the Warthog, but I decided to pull off one today for you guys. So guys, what's actually funny about this gameplay is before this, I was going for some non-lethal gameplays with some immortal guys. And so basically, I wasn't even going for lethal gameplays. I never even thought I would get 100 plus. I thought I needed the K9, the Swarm, and all of that. But turns out I actually don't, and I really don't need that to succeed with my 100 plus. So I may stick to this setup to for more 100 plus in the future and things like that. But yeah, guys, it's actually funny because I actually got this gameplay while I was leveling up my SGT before a win account. If you guys didn't know, I actually reset my stats because I wasn't going to play on it anymore. But, you know, I actually had to get back on here and play with some immortal guys, you know, because my primary account friends list is pretty much full right now. So I basically had to go to extensive levels to start playing on this account and just start getting some gameplays on here. Now guys, even though the gameplay is very awesome like every one of my videos, I really have a commentary topic that I want to talk about today and it really depends on my gameplay and it really, you know, contains a vibe for my gameplay. It has something to do with my gameplay. So guys, as you see the title says, it says skill coming back and you're probably wondering, what street? You never had real skill? <laughs> nah guys, this is not actually what happened, but what I mean by my skill coming back, if you guys have noticed on my channel. I went from posting like a lot of 100 plus, then I stopped, then I started posting like 50 kill gameplays, 70 kill gameplays, 80 kill gameplays, and I don't know why that was, but I felt like it's because kind of, I wasn't feeling Black Ops 2 as much as I was at the beginning, and I wasn't like feeling Black Ops 2 to get the gameplay, so I basically had stopped playing the game for a while, and my aim went down, my consistency with getting the score streaks, my consistency with getting 100 pluses, and things like that, that all went away, and that's all basically gone, but now it has came back, and I'm just really in the mood to play some more Black Ops 2, and one reason why I am, because I'm actually going for some gameplays for Immortal, if you guys didn't know, I actually joined them, I'll save that topic for later commentary but yeah guys i'm just going for some immortal gameplays i'm just really actually feeling black ops 2 now it kind of feels like when you have something to work for you when you have something to strive for in black ops 2 when you're going for something it just keeps you and makes you want to play the game more and more every day you come home like now when i come home i'm like man let me get on black ops 2 try to drop this 150 plus but before i was like eh, black ops 2 same old, same old, I don't feel like playing today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, just a lot of that stuff is coming back. My aim, my consistency. If you guys go look in my previous videos, my aim, it was there. But it was not as good as it, like, it primarily was. It's not as good as back when I was dropping them 100 plus, like, on a daily. Now, I'm back to doing that. My aim is very good. My consistency is very good. Like, as you see, I start this round here with score streaks just way to go ham so that's what i mean by consistency just keep getting those score streaks after you get one set and after you get kills and kills you just keep racking them up and keep racking them up and you just never stop 
Now you guys may be wondering straight, why do I care about your aim? Why do I care about the consistency you've been having and all that? It's because that actually means more great gameplays for you. I'm trying to get on and drop you guys as many high kill gameplays as possible. I'm trying to get you guys some 80 pluses, some 100 pluses. And what I'm really trying to go for is uh, the Remington 150 plus with the lethals. But I don't know if I'll be able to get it, but I'm pretty sure whatever I strive for, I can probably get it like this gameplay you see here i never really play on the map meltdown but once it came up i was sure that i took advantage of it so i actually went try hards on these little squeakers right here these noobs <laughs> it was funny because in the pre-game lobby they were actually talking about how good they were and all that so i just joined the game you know kind of pop stumping a little a little bit so like I said guys, that just means more good gameplays for you. Like I said, I'm motivated to play Black Ops 2. And even if you guys don't see like a 80 kill gameplay, a 90 kill gameplay, like a really high scoring gameplay for me, you will see some gameplay because I'm actually playing Black Ops 2. And majority of the time when I do play Black Ops 2, I get at least one decent gameplay. So everything is just going good right now. Everything is just really great. And what I'm trying to do now I'm trying to move away kind of from the SMG type. I mean, I'm still going to be getting SMG 100 pluses, all these SMG gameplays. But I'm trying things different. Like, I'm trying to go with, like, different weapons like assault rifle, shotguns. I may even get some secondary pistol gameplay for you guys and just all around i'm just trying to go from different stuff instead of going for the normal smg 100 plus because basically guys everyone's been there done that you guys have probably already seen a hundred a hundred pluses with smgs and things like that before so i just want to kind of switch it up i want to kind of show you guys what i actually can do with other weapons because i am good with things like shotguns assault rifles and all of that type of stuff and with trying stuff different, I'm actually going to be trying to go for some non-lethal gameplays like some 70 plus non-lethal, 80 plus non-lethal. And something I really want to give what I'm striving for in Black Ops 2 is a double nuclear. I want to bring you guys a very interesting high-paced gameplay. And the reason why I really like double nuclears, I mean, although lethal gameplays are full with action and you just see your score streaks waping everybody, you can call me only use me score streaks. But at the same time, with the non-lethal gameplay, it's basically just like, man, this is real gun-on-gun -gun action. It really shows the skill of the player. The skill of the player really comes out because with lethal gameplays, you can basically get 30 kills with your weapon and then all the other kills will be score streak kills and you can drop 150 plus. But with non-lethal gameplays, every single kill comes from your weapon. So that basically means more gun skills involved and things like that. And it just makes the gameplay that much more interesting and things like that. So I've always been a lethal type player. So it's kind of weird for me to go for non-lethal gameplays. And it's just thinking about how many kills you got to get with your weapon. And just kind of keep getting that and keep getting that. Because I'm used to the type of feel of like Black Ops 1. And all those different types of games where you had things like the chopper gunner, you had all these controllable score streaks, and then that's basically what most of your kills came from. So guys, I'm just going to try to switch it up now a little bit. I'm going to try to go for some non-lethal gameplay for you guys because that is probably what you guys really want to see and I hope that will be very interesting for you guys. But guys, kind of give me some feedback on this video. Let me know what kind of things you want to see me. I can use pistols non-lethals i can use you know primarily anything you guys will want to see and i'll strive for that gameplay <laughs> but don't come at something like executioner 150 plus or something like that but one thing i don't know if i'll ever get this in black ops 2 but one thing i really want to get is the 200 plus like i know that's pretty exaggerating like street <laughs> getting 200 plus but i really want to get that and i think if i really do put my mind to it i can actually get that for you guys and actually bring you guys a 200 plus kill gameplay so guys just let me know what you think let me know which gameplay you would rather see some lethal gameplay or some non-lethal gameplay because both of them are very interesting but i always think non-lethal was more interesting than lethals so guys just let me know what you think but guys it's been your boy street i thank you all for watching this video and check out the final kill cam boy beasting on them <laughs> but it's been your boy street all right y'all peace and i'm out